Last year's accident in Fukushima exposed the vulnerability of Japan's nuclear plants to natural disasters. Operators are under pressure to reassess the safety of their facilities. One utility is checking what lies beneath a plant on the sea of Japan coast, trying to figure out if a fault running below a reactor could trigger an earthquake. Trying to figure out if a fault running below a reactor could trigger an earthquake. The operator of the Shika plant launched the investigation. The facility is located in Ishikawa Prefecture. The fault runs over a length of 300 meters, some 250 meters below reactor number one. Experts say it's very likely to be active. Experts say it's very likely to be active. Workers will dig a tunnel under the reactor to check for traces of seismic activity. Workers will dig a tunnel under the reactor to check for traces of seismic activity. Analysts will compile a report by January. All units at the Shika plant are currently offline, but residents say they're concerned. I don't want the reactors to be restarted, because we don't know what can happen. They should have investigated the fault much earlier, before we even had this kind of debate. Earlier, I spoke with NHK World's Yoichiro Tateiwa, who has been covering this story. Yoichiro, we heard from some of these residents, and they're right. angry. Mm -hmm. um, quite understandable in the wake of, of course, what happened at Fukushima Daiichi. Now, mm -hmm. Shika has been operating for 20 years. Why is the investigation process starting right now? Mm -hmm. Shika has been operating for 20 years. Why is the investigation process starting right now? Yeah, Jin, obviously the Fukushima accident is one reason. The government ordered nuclear operators to make sure that, you know, make sure that the land under their plants is stable. Mm -hmm. But the concern about the Shika, this, this plant, predate last year's disaster. The Hokuriku Electric Power Company applied for permission to build the plant in 1987. All right. The document used for that application include figures showing the shapes and the locations of fact fracture running under the site. Mm -hmm. The company researcher said those fractures wouldn't pose any problem. The government approved the plan. Then in 2006, mm -hmm. the government revised its quake, earthquake resistance guidelines for nuclear plants. The order operated to examine active faults around their facility. Mm -hmm. The company's engineers carried out a drill survey in 2008 to reassess 20 faults near the Shika plant. But for reason I know, they didn't include the fracture zone in question in their survey. Mm -hmm. To reassess 20 faults near the Shika plant. But for reason I know, they didn't include the fracture zone in question in their survey. Mm -hmm. What happens if investigators discover the fault under the plant is actually active? Or if that's the case, meaning the fracture zone could move their trigger and earthquake. Or if that's the case, meaning the fracture zone could move the trigger and earthquake. The operator wouldn't be allowed to research uh, reactors mm. and it would be forced to shut down the facility for good. Okay. Government guidelines for nuclear plants do not allow utility to build or operate these facilities above about active fault. Mm -hmm. The nuclear industry is, as you know, under great scrutiny in the wake of the Fukushima accident. The operators now have to make sure reactors pass new safety tests before they can bring the units back online. Two of Japan's 50 commercial reactors are running right now, but there's a possibility that facility, the oil plant, also sits on active fault. All right. But there's a possibility that facility, the oil plant, also sits on active fault. The government has ordered oil operators to do comprehensive checks. Mm -hmm. But the government panel that investigated the Fukushima accident mm -hmm. pointed out in their report this week that 
Japan is prone to natural disaster, and the government and the operators need to change their attitude toward disaster preparedness. And the government and the operators need to change their attitude toward disaster preparedness. Local government leaders are urging experts at Japan's Nuclear Safety Agency to make their health and welfare a priority. They want regulators to closely follow an investigation that's about to get started to check a fault running beneath a nuclear plant in Ishikawa Prefecture. They fear the fault is active and worry it could trigger an earthquake. Ishikawa Vice Governor Hiroyasu Takenaka and the Deputy Mayor of the Town of Shika submitted the request Thursday to the head of the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency. Members of the government panel said last week the fracture zone below the Shika nuclear plant's number one reactor is very likely an active fault. That prompted Hokuriku Electric Park Company executives to submit to the agency a plan to conduct the probe. Local officials call the panel's findings extremely regrettable. They say they greatly undermine public trust in the central government system to check nuclear plants. It's now unclear whether the reactor can be restarted. I hope the agency will have specialists strictly examine the probe results to remove any doubts over its assessment. They want regulators to fulfill their responsibility to follow the Shika probe step by step and keep the public informed. <laughs>Last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi focused the world's attention on Japan's nuclear network. Scientists from the International Atomic Energy Agency wrote a detailed report on what went wrong at the facility. Now they're turning their attention to another nuclear plant in the country's northeast. The Onagawa plant shut down automatically after the earthquake on March 11th. Safety measures protected the facility against a tsunami, and they prevented an accident like the one at Fukushima Daiichi. IAEA members and other foreign experts will visit the plant on Monday. Officials with Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency say the team will enter all three reactors. They'll examine pipes and cooling systems, and they'll check the condition of pools of nuclear fuel. IAEA team members are expected to use the findings to draft global nuclear safety guidelines. Prosecutors in Japan have decided to accept criminal complaints over the nuclear accident. Local residents filed the complaints last month against the central government and the plant's operator. About 1,300 people asked the prosecutors in Fukushima Prefecture to investigate top officials in the government and Tokyo Electric Power Company. The plaintiffs accused the officials of professional negligence. Other groups have filed similar complaints in Tokyo and elsewhere. Sources say the prosecutors made the decision after a government-appointed panel of experts released on Monday its final report on the accident. The prosecutors have to identify the cause of the accident if they decide to file charges. The government panel and three other committees that conducted probes have failed to pinpoint the cause. Medical experts say it would be hard to prove that radioactive materials from the damaged plant inflicted physical harm on residents of Fukushima or elsewhere in Japan. I'm just think funny NASA warns that the surface of the huge ice sheet covering Greenland is melting at an unprecedented rate. The U.S. Space Agency said on Tuesday that satellite imagery shot on July 8th showed melting across 40% of Greenland, but just four days later, they had shot up to 97%. About half of the ice sheet melts every summer. But scientists say that in 30 years of observation, they have never seen anything like these new images. Ice near the summit of a 3,200-meter-high mountain in the center of the island has also begun to melt for the first time in 120 years. NASA blames a stationary mass of warm air over Greenland. Scientists are continuing to monitor the phenomenon for a possible rise in sea levels.